Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Eat Sleep Fantasy Football Podcast. My name is Dale. Joining me, as always, is Clayton. He's going to be here in just a second. Um, somebody says they couldn't make it. We are doing a, a full PPR mock draft today. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I posted it in the Eat Nation private group on Facebook earlier today. So if you were in that group, you might have seen the notification. And, uh, and you joined, which is awesome. I think we have a full draft here um, that we're going to have. Uh, 12 people. I am picking number four. Clayton is picking number... Uh, where is Clayton picking? Uh, Clay Dog. Nine. He's picking number nine. Um, so uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. You will have the screen popped up so you can see kind of what I'm doing on my side. Um, and it's a lot of fun. If you guys aren't familiar, Fantrax, Fantrax.com is a great platform. They've made a ton of adjustments over the years. Every year they just keep getting better and better. Uh, so uh, maybe if you tried them 10 years ago uh, and you haven't done it since, I'd urge you to go back on uh, Fantrax.com slash ESF to sign up. And uh, it's it's a really simple, easy website to use, totally customizable. Um, so anyways, uh, Carl likes micro dogs. Um, hey, I'm with you, Carl. Right back at you, buddy. Um, anyways. All right, we will get started. Let's see. We have 19 seconds to the draft. Look, there's not a lot of BS today. We're going right into the mock draft. Uh, last week, we did a Fantrax mock draft, and we edited it. It took way too much time. So this time, we're just doing it live here for you guys. So we're going to be talking through it. Uh, Clayton, I wish Clayton's microphone worked. Uh, we spent hundreds still and hundreds, still and hundreds hear of me dollars right? getting all his stuff set up, still and uh, now he's not even using it. So whatever. Um, and now it's not even working. So. Um, all right, we are live. The draft is live. Um, I'll kind of go through the picks really. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Let's see. Let me go back to the draft room. Um, I have a new computer, so I think I just uh, went out. There you go. You guys can see it. All right. Um, so I have pick four. I will let you guys know who and when I pick uh, at pick four PPR. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not against picking Cooper Cup overall at number number four. Um We'll see what happens, but you know, if if a good running back, I think if Taylor Eckler or Henry drop to me, I'll get one of those. Other than that, um, is it Cup or Jefferson? Um, I don't know. Uh, for the, for the this purposes, I'm just being open and honest. I think I'm going. Uh, I think I'm going um, Cooper Cup. I don't have a lot of Cooper Cup, so I want to see what my team is like. That's what the good thing about doing mock drafts is. Is uh is doing this so anyways clayton just left me she's just left me out in the open and then up to dry or whatever that thing whatever that's called um again guys we appreciate you easily fantasy easily fantasy.com uh we appreciate everybody supporting us we had a great time in canton and the hall of fame we're gonna get to that so one two and three so far is jonathan taylor austin eckler cooper cup god it's so hard to ignore Derek henry um even in ppr formats oh man what would you guys do? I wonder. Do anybody in the chat? Um, you know, I'm. I'm still. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Justin Jefferson here, just because I can. Very easy to use. Bam, Justin Jefferson. This is a one QB league. Derrick Henry, of course, was taken right after. A good pick. Can't argue with that. I don't. You know, I really don't think. Oh, here, here's Clayton. You there, Clayton? Yeah. Can you hear me? I don't know. Nope. Clayton is hello, not hello, here. Hello. Hello. Did you turn it on and turn it back off? Yeah, everything. Did you check the uh, StreamYard settings? Fuck. Anyways. All right. Well, keep trying, Clayton. I'll be around. Uh, so after my Jeff Justin Jefferson pick, Derek Henry, then Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase at 1-6. I don't hate it. I think I'd rather have, like, Dallin Cook probably at 1-6. Um We'll see. Uh, Christian McCaffrey would be a tough choice there, too, because he is a great PPR running back. I, I'm not concerned about Christian McCaffrey this year at all, by the way. We'll see. Um, Najee Harris at 1-8. Najee Harris over Devontae Adams and Dalvin Cook. Interesting. I don't, why are so, so many people uh, down on uh, Dalvin Cook? Uh, ESF Clay, uh, Clay Dog, he's up at 1-9. He took Dalvin Cook. Good pick. At 1-9, um, I think that's a steal for Dalvin Cook, for sure. Um, so right now, 
through nine picks in this PPR. Mike check there have one, been two, three check. wide receivers. All the rest have been running backs. So I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Uh, anyways, yeah, draft night out was a ton of fun. I know you guys heard me talk about it. It's a draft event in Canton at the Hall of Fame every year. It was a blast this year. I have some content to show you guys uh, probably in another week or so. It was a lot of fun, though. Um, Still nothing. We did a lot of cool stuff. Draft event. We 120 people drafted all in the same room at the same time. Uh, shout out to Rob uh, and uh, and Chris. Both listeners came and helped out. Um, of course, John <laughs> Chapman came with me. And uh, oh, Dave, uh, Dave came. He was a great. Oh, hey, Chris is in this mock draft. I had recognized Chris's last name. Why didn't Chris? Chris, are you watching this with me? I wonder, or is he just on the mock draft? Um, anyways, let's see. Uh, DeAndre Swift was taking 111. Good pick. You know, he said he was going to go for a thousand yards rushing and a thousand yards receiving this year. Uh, what do you guys think about the bold players? I'm curious. I mean, the bold, the bold uh, comments by players. I think that's always interesting. Um, but he said he really wants it. Uh, Chris at the 12 and 2 1 turn, uh, he got Devontae Adams and Stefan Diggs. Not a bad choice. Um, not too bad. I mean, he had running backs like Javante Williams, um, Alvin Kamara still available. I think Devonte Adams, Stefan Diggs is a nice uh, way to start your first in your second round. Here, Travis man. Kelsey was taken two, two. Should I go through all these picks? You guys let me know what you want to hear. Saquon Barkley, Rob, that is a really interesting choice at two, three. Um, he is the hype is starting to come up a little bit. Uh, more and more. Rob started with Joe Mixon and Saquon Barkley. Uh, I'm starting to like Saquon Barkley a lot, too. I mean, really, the only person he has behind him is Matt Breida, and we know he's not like a viable starting running back. Um, so that would be... Uh, I think Saquon Barkley, I think I'm going to get him in drafts a lot. Um, I th I was hoping that he was going to fall to the uh, to the late second so I can get him. Oops, I keep getting out of this draft. I'm sorry, guys, if you're watching on YouTube. A uh, clay dog is taking forever. So not only does he have uh, bad internet that we can't hear him, um, but he is not picking on time either. So that's awesome. Debo Samuel. Oh, no. What? Oh, no, no. Javante Williams. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Fatneck. Fatneck has J Jamar Chase the and Aaron is Jones. Going on so a lot right of people now. are kind of doing balance. Some, uh, you know what? It's about half and half. Some people are going running back heavy. Uh, some people are doing balanced. Holy uh, right fuck. now, I have Jordan Je uh, Justin Jefferson. Um, I'm looking at guys like Mark Andrews, Tyreek Hill, AJ Brown, Leonard Fournette, Josh Allen. Those guys. Um, let's see. I only have 20 seconds left. Uh, since I do have such a strong wide receiver, I kind of want to take a running back. Um, but really, I don't think these running backs are of any value. The tight ends: Mark Andrews, Kyle Pitts, Derek Waller. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for uh, Cam Akers. I th I think he has a lot of value in PPR as well. Uh, I think he's gonna be a good pass catcher. Hopefully, hopefully. I don't know. Well, let's see. Uh, I've just I started off Justin Jefferson, Cam Akers, and it's full PPR. Uh, if you guys are in the chat, let me know. I would love to hear uh, your feedback on what what you guys think. But if not, if you're listening to audio, I appreciate it. I'm gonna try to give you some analysis uh, every now and then. I wonder if I can pause the draft to talk. Um, we'll probably go through. Um, I don't know. Let's go through like maybe 10 rounds or something. Um, just enough to get some good content here and talk about enough players. Um, Win forever has Austin Eckler and Tyreek Hill. Uh, this second round is kind of like blah. The end of the second round, like, you know, Debo Samuel, Nick Chubb, are great picks. But when it comes to Kamara, which I'm not sold on, Akers, Fournette should be okay, but he is another year older. And then you have Tyreek Hill. It's like, yeah, CD Lamb. I I know a lot of people are talking about he could be, or you know, probably is Dallas's wide receiver one. Good for him. Um, I guess a strong end of the second, last pick of the second round for PPR. That's not too bad. I just remember he burned me in a game last year. Brees Hall went three one. Mark Andrews went three, two. So I have, I'm looking at, I have Justin Jefferson and Cam Akers. So I kind of started balanced already. If I'm looking at the draft board and what's available, 
Um, you know, Jalen Waddle, I really like Antonio Gibson. Forget it. Um, Keenan Allen, I think is always a strong PPR play. I mean, he has been for years, right? I don't know if you can go wrong with him. Um, how early is too early for quarterbacks? I mean, Josh Allen still wasn't taken. I mean, do you go after that? Um, I think you probably want, if Josh Allen's there in the fourth round, I would say definitely. I think third round just a little too early. The tight ends, I'm not going to bet on Cowell Pitts, even though I do think he, he'll be fine. I'm just not going to bet a third round pick on him. Um, so I'm going to look at the overall, you know, I think I'm going to go Keenan Allen. Why? I think that that offense is going to be so explosive. I think everybody in that offense is going to be has a chance to be very productive. Although, you know, Austin Eckler, Justin Herbert. Um, I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to go Keenan Allen here. I hope I'm going to go Keenan Allen. Draft. So I started Justin Jefferson, Cam Akers, and Keenan Allen. Uh, this is a three wide receiver, two running back league. Um, and so I have, I have, I have two strong wide receivers right now. And I think a pretty good pass catching running back. Uh, Brandon F. Brandon has Derek Henry, Alan, Alvin Kamara, and Antonio Brown. Not bad. I'm kind of, I love how Clayton just totally uh, just left me, and I'm here all by myself. All by myself. Uh, and then even everybody in, my, uh, in the ESF chat, you know, like Rob. Wait, let me see. I think. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. So we have, let's see. I will break down the third round for you guys. I'm sorry. I was uh, I'm trying to multitask here. Uh, oh, okay. Josh Allen was taken 3-7. Not bad. I think that's okay. Like I said, I think in the fourth round, he's a steal. Uh, Mid-third. I'm, I'm okay with that. Elijah Mitchell was also taken middle of the third. Uh, T. Higgins and Mike Evans. And then James Conner at the end of the third round. Let's see. You remember Chris? I told you Chris had started Devontae Adams and Stefan Diggs with the uh, turn at first and second round. So he started off with Devontae Adams and Stefan Diggs. I wonder what he's going to do here, if he's going to go more balanced, because um, there is still Jalen Waddle still available, which I think is a at the end of the third, I think is a steal, but he already has two wide receivers. So uh, I wonder what he's going to do here. Let's Can you hear me? On this pick, you have guys like Josh Jacobs, Kyle Pitts, Deontay Johnson right. is still there. Patrick Mahomes, if you want a running back and a quarterback, I'm sorry. George Kittle. Uh, he went David Montgomery. Interesting choice there, Chris. I don't hate the pick. I think David Montgomery is okay. Um, and it's a, well, hold on. Yeah, because he has a turn. So he went David Montgomery and Justin Herbert. Okay. I mean, if you believe in Justin Herbert and you think he's going to, and I do. Um, Michael Pittman went 4-2 after Justin Herbert went 4-1. So let's see here. Hey, Clayton, you there? Can you hear me or no? Wait, is Nothing? it? Maybe it's my microphone. Do you think it's me? Hold on. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost, man. I don't know. Let's see. Oh wait, wait! It's me. You there? Are you Are you kidding me? Yeah, it was you the whole time. Oh, <laughs> it was me the whole time. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, hold I was on. Gonna, hold I was going to legit on. break this computer, man. <laughs> hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we're good. Can you hear me? I could hear you the whole time. I could hear you the whole time. Hold on. Holy, how frustrating is that? Oh, and then I just fucking blew that pick too. Oh no, I'm up now. Is it my turn now? We're good. Clayton, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello, Are Clayton, can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you. Oh, hey. he said he can hear you the whole time. Okay, so it's just me that can't hear you. Interesting. Oh. Hold on. Clayton, you could go ahead and talk because everybody else can hear you. And um, this is why so that's awesome. I dislike Dale so much, you guys. Anyways, that last that one pick I had there when I picked uh, Javante Williams at two two four, my actual target would have been Nick mm -hmm. Chubb, auto picking by accident, but I guess. But all is good. 
Dale, are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you, Dale. Okay. Hey, how does it... If you guys are in the uh, Facebook group, can you guys hear Clayton and me okay? Can you respond? Clayton, are you... Uh, are you talking about the thing? Are you talking about the uh, the draft right now? <laughs> yeah, can every, everyone can hear Dale good, I'm sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if everybody can hear me because I have you on my speakers. So I'm a little nervous. All right, so I started off Justin Jefferson, Cam Akers, Keenan Allen. I'm looking at guys like Damon Harris, maybe. I don't want David Singletary, Cordell Patterson, Rashad Penny. No, 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 no. Let me look at everything else. DK Metcalf. What do you think about DK Metcalf at the end of the fourth year? Um, I don't hate it. Darren Waller. Uh, you will see some of his targets go down, but I think he's okay. I like uh, other guys ahead of uh, Metcalf. Whoa. Okay. I did not hear this. This is like uh, intense music. Do you hear this music? Yeah. Oh, geez. Four seconds. Four seconds. Uh, shoot. Okay. Terry McLaurin. I, got, uh, I didn't want him. Damn it. Okay, that's what mock drafts do to you. This is still early. We. <laughs> All right, say so Facebook user said you guys are just fine. Clayton, I'm sorry. My air, my uh, my AirPods, uh, my AirPods, I guess weren't picking up sound or something. So Dale, you can hear me now, though, right? Uh, yeah, I can hear you perfect. Okay, perfect. What's the over under on Carl drunk dialing you during the NFL season? Uh, oh. It's always at least two or three times. Easily. <laughs> he calls me two to three times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he calls me too. All right. Can you help me out a little bit here, Clayton? I've been carrying the whole show. You have been. Well, can you, like, do something? Wait, 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 wait. Dale, lead the way, buddy. I'm oh, I've been you. fucking leading the way. Jesus. I don't know. I, at round five, round five, six, at this time now, I'm looking probably – I'm going to want to scoop my scoop a quarterback in this round. Personally, I just think because you know how I have, uh, you know, I got I got my running backs already that I had lined up. I got a, I got a receiver. I think there's still a lot of receiver talent out there. So I'm going to want to try to get one of these uh, these, these top dogs at QB in this round. But we'll see. Okay, let me try to get a QB. I'll snag one. Um, if a good hey, look, if a superstar QB is available. So right now, so in the fifth round, Mike Williams, DK Metcalf, and uh, Sutton was picked. Cortland Sutton. I couldn't think of his first name. I'm sorry. Um, you guys, you have the guys like Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Dak Prescott, Kyler Murray. I like Joe Burrow the most out of all these guys. Um, do you agree? Is it worth taking him? You know, in the middle of the fifth. I do. I'm I'm super high on Burrow. The only other guy I would maybe consider ahead of him is Lamar Jackson, but I mean, either Jeez, way, I do not like this countdown. Him. Yeah, you better pick quick. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to go to Chris Godwin. Draft now. Okay. So I started. I do not like this at all. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with me. I, Dale, I we my... love the sounds that come no, off. The it, they, yeah, they get me. Um, it's actually it's a nice sound, but you know. It gets your body, it gets your blood flowing. So I started <laughs> off Justin Jefferson, Cam Akers, Keenan Alley, Keenan Allen, Terry McLaurin, and Chris Godwin. Why the fall for Chris Godwin? Just because he's not fully healthy yet? I would think so. But if he I, was, I would have him around he, like he would have been AJ around Brown probably, territory. Yeah, somewhere around there for sure. I mean, he would be going two We're, rounds earlier, I think, if he was. Yeah, I was going to say around three ish. Uh, he said Burrow. Yeah, a little too late, buddy. Whoever said Burrow. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what happened there? Um, hey, guys, if you're listening on Facebook, does it sound okay? If you're listening live. If you're not listening live, make sure you join us on our Eat Nation private group. Anyways, Clayton, man, I'm good to – I'm good to – are we going to do like a – we're going to record like an intro um, right after this, right? I hope so. Yeah, because we got to get the energy going because I had zero energy. Oh, by myself. <laughs> Like, big one. I, had, I was I was seeing pure red. I was seeing I was seeing red. Man, I was so angry. I'm sure people <laughs> heard me. If everyone said they could hear me right from the get go, I'm sure oh, you would a few choice words. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was not. I was not happy. 
Uh, well, I couldn't tell if you were even talking or not. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Fat Neck. He's interesting. Jamar Chase, Aaron Jones, Eli Mitchell, Amon St. Brown. Oh, I love. I really like Amon St. Brown. Um, and Joe Burrow. I like his team a lot so far. Fat Neck. Um, okay, you're going now. You have Dalvin Cook, Javante Williams, uh, T. Higgins. I'm just. I'm Travis just taking Stephen. a look at the the receivers. I I'm still I, are right there. So I think I'm going to go with what I said I was going to go with uh, quarterback. And I'm going to go with, because I think he's going to finish as a top five QB this year is Jalen hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Not I crazy. There is a little run on quarterback. Lo love the additions uh, on offense for him. And I just think that, you know, he did fit, you know, he, he was good last year. I think he was like between weeks one and 12 last year. I think before we missed some time, he was like, QB one or something like that, or top yeah. three QB. Sure. Yeah. So I try to I... try to get, you know, the additions of, you know, AJ Brown and stuff like that. I do think that hurts is going to just blow up this year. Sure. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Yeah. I mean, there was a little QB run there. I really, really like uh, Elijah Moore, the wide receiver for the New York jets. I am going to get him in a lot of drafts. I feel like I haven't started drafting yet, but I feel like, I'm a lot higher on him than most people are. Um, I, he's a stud, man. There's a huge delay with comments being posted on screen. I'm sorry, Facebook user. We're trying our <laughs> best, okay? Jesus. I love when people complain. Look, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave your comment up for a long time, okay? Oh, you mean from just us talking to be put up? I don't think so. I think you guys... Uh, Sorry for all those watching on YouTube. You're seeing the comment flash back and forth. All right. Uh, Alan Robinson is another snag. I feel like Fulton Reed. So be, being, my, being my turn now, I'm going to have to go. I have three running backs, quarterback, and one wide receiver. I'm going to have to go wide receiver here. One guy I really like as well um, is Jerry Judy. Really? Over Elijah yeah. Moore? Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, that Denver offense, it's going to be fun to watch. We'll see. Very fun. Um, Cortland Sutton was drafted more than a round before him. What do you think the value I was, is I, there? I, I was more worried about when when Tim Patrick was around. I, just, I had this big feeling that Tim Patrick was going to break out this year. And when he got banged, when, well, now that he's out for the year, that's what I do think. That's what I banged up, I said. I got banged. Shut up, Dale. You said he got banged. <laughs> no, I did I say that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyways, when he got banged up and is now out for the season, I that just boosted my uh, confidence in Jerry Judy a bit. So I may yeah. be a little bit higher on him than a lot of people are in my rankings, but yeah, uh, Elijah Moore. There you go, D man. D man is not me on this uh, mock draft, but man, he just. Got I'm me. not quite. I'm not quite sure why you're. Why are you so high on Elijah Moore? I just think he's very I, – I think the talent will prevail. Um, Zach Wilson, he can only get better. Um, I think he's going to – he should be ready for the start of the season, if not week two, right? Um, I don't know if it's come but, out yet. But Dave, but Dave also had a ton of additions on their team too. Like he's not just the guy anymore. There's a sure, bunch of guys there now. Like I said, I think talent prevails. I, I bet – I'm betting on the uh, – I'm betting on the jockey here. I think he's going to – I think he's going to do really well. I really like him from everything I've seen from – from him i, I do like not... i do like uh fat necks uh um pick on dustin schultz dalton schultz yeah yeah i think he's going to be uh you said he's going to be he's no it's not you said dust you just said dustin i Are said dalton i said dalton <laughs> no, schultz. you 100 uh you guys come oh. if you think clayton yeah was please, what did sure i say you definitely said dustin. I've, I've had i've had a few uh rough days buddy my kids hate <laughs> me guy legit hate right, me. i've uh, so I got three stupid wide receivers in a row. I need some sort of running back. I'm going to reach here. Uh, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, Rashad Penny. I'm taking a stab at Rashad Penny. Actually, I'm not getting Devin Singletary. I'm not getting J.K. Dobbins. Not Kareem Hunt. I think he's out. Um, Rashad Penny. He's Rashad already Penny. hurt. He's already banged up. Well, the timer started. You guys haven't heard the timer. Up. I'm freaking out. Is how hurt is he? What's wrong with him? He's fine. I, I I'm, I'm going in, in that case with those wide those running backs that are there. I'm I'm going with a 
It would be J.K. Dobbins and then Singletary for me over over really? uh, uh, Rashad Penny. Yeah, Singletary is probably going to be the third wide receiver on that um, on that offense. I see. I personally think Zach Penny can't stay healthy. Zach Moss season. What happens if he breaks out? That'll fuck everybody up. I think he has a chance. I'm just going on record saying that. Well, that, that whole backfield, there, there's a lot of weapons on that team. There's a ton. But yeah, yeah that backfield, that backfield's a disaster right now. I think Rashad Penny is more of a home run than Devin Singletary. Maybe not week to week, but I think he he's, has a better chance to get in a home run. Jeez, oh, I hate my team. Rashad Penny is my RB2. I That's really hate terrible. it. I That's really hate it. Though. Um, after Rashad Penny, Rashad Bateman, Hunter Renfro, uh, J.K. Dobbins. Man, I'd much rather have Bateman, but I screwed up with I have too many wide receivers. And then uh, Chase Edmonds went 7-1. Dak Prescott, 7-2. I might just go QB here because there are some good quarterbacks still available. If Kyler Murray is available at 7-4, I'm getting Kyler Murray. If not, I'll go another route. How often do you look ahead when you're drafting, or are you just paying attention to the draft? I, I have my, I have my the rounds where I'm le- like where I have it set in. Like you know, for example, like I said, five six. I usually like to take my first QB there, but it also depends on the town that's there. Like I mean, if there was a running back that fell to me, then I mean I'm probably most likely going to aim for a running back, but. At least five rounds, five six. I'm going. I always have my first quarterback there. Trey Lance was eighth quarterback taken off the board. Um, very interesting. Um, I think that's a little bit of a little bit of a reach, especially. Yeah, I think he's gonna be top like, twelve. I, I'd rather have yeah. Kyler Murray, and that's who I'm taking at seven four. I like Kyler Murray. I also like Russ Wilson there too. Yeah, yeah. I think Trey Lance should be drafted. Uh, if you really like him, he should be drafted in the seventh round, maybe early eighth. If you really like him. Because you won't get them if not. Um, that's okay. Uh, Buffalo defense was taken 7-6. Oh, uh, wow. Gabe Davis. Gabe Davis at 7-7. What do you think about Gabe Davis? I think he's a huge breakout candidate this year. Uh, I think he is the – the he's going to lead the team. He's probably going to be second leading in targets and probably probably receiving yards over, over digs. Yeah, I also don't sleep on. I'm also a big sleeper right now. Is going to be Isaiah McKenzie as well. Sure. Yeah. Last, I hear last, that last, last I read, last I read about him, he's pretty much taken that slot role away from Crowder. So, um, and we saw what he did last year. So, um, I think it's going to be perfect. Yes, Crowder in the last down. year. So, Crowder, Crowder's moved down your rankings. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's my go here. I'm going to probably aim at another receiver. You have three guy, running backs and two receivers. Yeah. And I'm going to go with my probably top breakout candidate of this uh, this year. And it's going to be... Well, what just happened there? Hold on. Where's my draft? Oh, no. What I'm in trouble. On? How much time do I got left? Okay. Uh, We're good. Seconds. Super high. Um, this is He's my... My basically top breakout kind is Brandon Ayuk. Yes, I love Brandon Ayuk too. Nice. I don't. I don't think you're alone in that. He's done great in camp so far. Like amazing. Um, Debo hasn't been there the whole time either. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, I like Brandon Ayuk a lot. Yeah, it's going to be. I think that offense is going to be great. I've been seeing a lot of uh, highlight catches of his, and I just, I don't know. I think him and Trey Lance got something going already. He got it going early. Yeah, I do too. I like it. All right. Uh, so Rob, uh, he's gotten Mike. Oh, there he goes with it. He got Mike Evans, Deontay Johnson, Daryl Mooney, Darnell Mooney, JJ, Juju Smith-Schuster, and then Dallas Goddard. Um, not bad. I wonder why the tight end, like, he didn't have to get that. Why does he like that tight end so much? I think he could have waited for Goddard. Don't you think? I probably would have taken him my next shot at the at the turn when it came to me. That's who that's who I would have been targeting. Okay. Yep. All right. So if you like, we get him. Kareem Hunt was taken eight one by Chris. Shout out Chris. 
I shouted out Chris already. He's a good pool player. Um, he's a really good ski ball player. We we competed in pretty much everything we could this this weekend when we were in Canton. How did Pop Shot go, bud? I don't. Let's not talk about Pop Shot right now, okay? Yeah, because you suck. I smashed you in Vegas in it, and you still claim to be the champ. I know. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. Did we ever tell uh, did we ever tell you how I demolished you so bad? Not that I wouldn't have beat you already, but do you remember I, you were only using like I think you ended up having like three balls and I scooped I think I scooped three years and I was shooting nine every time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rob, I like that pick with Damian Pierce. He is uh I you know the Texans don't usually, you know, invest too much in in running backs at that position. So I'm going to make my pick here. At eight three, gonna, Damian Pierce went. I'm going to go uh, off the board a little bit here because I' going to be also super high on him, and it's crazy because he is a Who, Chicago just tell Bear. Us. But Cole Komet, yeah, gonna be okay. my tight end. But yeah, the te- Texans don't invest a lot in in running backs, and from I mean, we saw him in preseason. He seems to be standing out quite a bit, and I do think that he's going to be the guy from day one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so let's see. Uh, we'll kind of break down. Let's do – like we're going to do a whole nother like round. We'll get through all like first nine rounds for you guys on the pod. Uh, how long have we been on for so far? What is this? Yeah, 30. Yeah, we're good. So, we're going to do like nine rounds uh, for this mock, and then um, and then we're going to get a – Pop Shot belongs to Rob. Uh, unfortunately, Rob – he beat me. I'll say, you know, it wasn't it wasn't really my weekend for Papa Shot because we played a lot of Papa Shot. Um, I even played real basketball with Rob. And he's pretty good. We went and played. Uh, we went to a rec center and played basketball. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, it's my turn. Um, I'll tell you who I have really quick: Justin Jefferson, Cam Akers, Keenan Allen, Terry McLaurin, Chris Godwin, Rashad Penny. Kyler Murray. I need to take some stabs at running backs. My running backs suck. I need to go for home runs. Do I get Kenneth, Kenneth Walker, even though I already have um, Penny? Is that a good insurance? Should I get Kenneth Walker already. Um, Tony Pollard, Miles Sanders. The hype around Miles Sanders is that he's still a good running back and he has a chance. What do you think about Miles Sanders here? Just because I suck, I have no depth at wide. Receiver. I'm not. Uh, I'm if I'm going to go for go for a home run hitter, I'm going Pollard. I don't like it because I do like Zeke, but I'm going. I went Pollard. Um, Ramondre Stevenson went, then Miles Sanders, back to back to back. Um, not mad at it. I should have went Sanders. I feel like I think I would be more. I think I'd be happier with Sanders. Tony Pollard has to fight through Zeke. Miles Sanders, if he does well, he has a clear path. No, I think. Uh... I think I think I think Pollard's going to score Zeke this year. Yeah, very very good chance. Russell Wilson, the end of the eighth. All right, we're going to get through this ninth good round, and then value. and then we're going to go through and uh, and do some stuff and do some. Uh, James Robinson, how much how much work do you think he's going to take, or how much work do you think uh, Etienne is going to take away from James Robinson? If if James Robinson is healthy. I think we're going to see a 50-50 split between both him and Etienne. Interesting. I just don't know how you can go away from a guy like James Robinson after he's done it year in and year out, right? Like, And then all right. of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden he, he, he gets banged up. I get that. But he still is, as long as he comes back and he's you know running, cutting the same, I think they're still going to give him, give him a chance to prove that he can still be the guy. And if that's yeah. the case, and I think you're going to see a lot of, a lot of maybe them both on the field at the same time. Yep. I have. I'm picking at nine four. I'm, I'm going to load up on running backs here. I think I'm going to. Um, Drake London was taken nine three by the way, the wide receiver, uh, rookie okay. out of Atlanta. I think I'm going to go uh, and I'm looking for home runs right now because I'm struggling at running back. I'm very aware. Um, people listening to this are going to hate my team. But I think I'm going to go Isaiah Spiller just for the upside. Um, Austin Eckler, smaller running back. He should be fine, but, you know, smaller running backs don't last for a million years. 
Josh, uh, Josh, Josh Kelly's uh, ahead of him right now on the depth chart, Joe. Why do you screw with me like this? I'm Josh <laughs> Spiller. Good Just job. for the upside. Hey. Take the fourth stringer at uh, the ninth round. Not bad, Dale. Oh, Good job. You just took uh who'd you take, you idiot? Cool commit. <laughs> yeah. Who are you getting? Who are you who are you looking at right now for nine with nine nine? Probably going to go with uh, another receiver here. So one guy that's sticking out to me is I'm also going to jump. Is it my turn yet or not yet? The one bad thing about the the app on the phone or drafting from your phone is you gotta reconnect it all the time. So that's why. Yeah. Well, time... have you? I mean, you have Canadian Wi-Fi. Is that the problem? Well, yeah. Well, my Wi-Fi. And you know what? My my computer is a piece of shit. That's the problem. So <laughs> I, if I have more than like one window open, it like really really slows down stuff. So <laughs> to stop you bitching at me, Dale, I just gonna run one window. Okay, so now being my turn, um, we talk about going uh, upside. I'm going to go with uh, Chris Olave. There you go. The I like it. I like it. Nice upside there. All right, let's see what Rob does, and let's see what Chris does. Uh, Rob went Robert Woods, Tennessee That's Titan, pick. In, the, in the 10th pick of the ninth round. I like it. I think Rob's done his homework. I like it. Let's see. And then we have Fulton. Fulton Reed slap shots. What does that mean? Is that a hockey reference? Yep. Okay. Christian Cook was taken nine eleven. What is what is Fulton Reed? Who are you talking are you, to me? Yes. Yeah, so, just talking no. To yeah, I'm talking to, my, to the other co-host. Uh, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really talking. I'm like, uh, yeah. I I don't know. Clayton, we have been on the Sorry. same podcast for five years, and you're asking me if I'm talking to you? <laughs> well, because I'm trying to figure it out. Fulton reads from the Mighty Ducks. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks for researching that. I'm no sorry. Problem. I was making fun of you, but you were actually doing work for Exactly, the and I can only do one thing at a time, Dale. You've known me for a long time, and you put more than one thing on my plate at one time. I don't do well. <laughs> All right, uh, this mock draft is 18 rounds. We are not doing it, but I'm telling you guys, this uh, drafting on fan tracks is awesome. Like I said, the, the, the user experience has gotten better and better every year. I'm, I'm liking it more and more every time I get on it every season. They have come, they've come, uh, come a long way, that's for sure. I this user, their... user interface is, is awesome, yep. actually. This is a really easy going mock draft right now. Um, anyways, Clay Dog, okay, go ahead and take your 10th pick, and then we'll stop it. Okay, I'm going to go with – let's go with my pick on the 10th round is going to go because he's still sitting there. I'm going to go with D-Hop. Okay. Nice. There you go. My team's, stat, my team's winning shit. It's beating my team. All right. Oh, 100%. Okay, I am going to um... – Anyways, okay, let's talk about some of these teams here, Clayton. We'll let it keep going, and if I pick, I pick. But really, let's just pick. Let's let's look at the teams from. Let me try to can I minimize this. Oh, let me see if I can do this. Oh, there it goes. Bam, that's way better. Can you see that? Yep. On the screen. Okay. All right. Do you want to look at these teams? Um, really, could see the whole thing if you really look, Clayton. Uh, the first team he picked one. Um, I guess, look, I'll go through one team and then you go through the next and you just look for some okay. gems. Okay. Cool. Yep. yep. All right. Uh, so for this first team that picked first, obviously Jonathan Taylor, you can't go wrong. Brees Hall in the third. Uh, very interesting. I don't hate it. If you like Brees Hall, I think three, one is, is, uh, is where he should be valued at. Um, Russell Wilson at the end of the eighth. Is good. Really, no surprise picks here for the at the one spot. Really, for me, um, DJ Moore is just fine. He has Mike Williams as well. I think it's all good. I, I don't think there's any like crazy picks, but I don't think I think it's a pretty safe team. How about that? Um, I think that this first guy, Carolina Reapers, 
I think it's a safe pick. I think it's a safe team. I don't think he went out. I think I, th- I think yeah, I think he left a lot a lot out there like ahead of guys. Like if you look at who was drafted after, um, like for example, you go down to his running backs right you go this is one obviously jay taylor is perfect and Brees hall i'm okay with that but i mean i would kind of i think i'm still a little bit higher on a guy such as maybe i'm not totally sold on Brees hall to be honest with you because of michael carter but i He's mean there. i would sooner like a guy though. like yeah yeah but I mean, he is kind of i think he is weaker at hall? running back I do like Elijah Mitchell, and I also like he, I st- I still like a Gib- I like Gibson still, yeah. Regardless of okay. the you know the fumbling issues and stuff like that, so yeah. All right, okay. So I guess Brees Hall was his one pick that was like a little bold, a little bold, but I, it works for him. It works. It was a little bold. He took maybe a little bit earlier than we we're comfortable with, but it works. All right, yep. look now. You tell me about this next team. Win forever. Picking from the two next spot. team, I like I like the balance he had going through the you know the first. Uh, I mean he he went with uh, Eckler at one uh, with his first pick, and then he went Terry Kill, Andrews, Jacobs, and then Metcalf Renfro. I like the especially in PPR Renfro's a I, I think a very good pick of where he got him in the sixth round because I think he's still going to eat in that offense even with Devonte Adams. If there's any concern here for me and i don't know maybe this is because i think maybe if this draft pick that everybody's just trying to fill fill their fill their roster before they go to their bench i've always been one that avoids defense and kickers till my last two rounds of the draft yeah I've always been good, that way so i don't know if it was sh- an auto pick good yeah chance that it was an auto pick but yeah, yeah. because because uh, to me i'm like those are always the ones that are left over so it's kind of tough like for us to go, I think it was a perfect spot to end it was in the ninth round because maybe a lot of people do kind of, you know, just kind of lose lose interest in it after nine rounds but or even eight rounds. But but if you look at the top eight rounds, I mean, there's a lot there's a lot of good balance. And I think we got a lot – our listeners are very well knowledgeable in how they draft. And I think a lot of guys draft how they – not a lot of guys change their draft strategy, put it that way. Yeah, you know, yeah. if we we can do if we do ten of these mock drafts with the same ten guys, I think I bet you about seven of them still you still see the same kind of team, all the way down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This next guy he picked in the third spot. Uh, longtime listener of ours. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Jacinto. That was pretty good. J- J- I, yeah, so I, I think it's I, it's J A C I N though. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Chiquinto. Chiquinto. Yeah, I'm not even going to try, to be honest with you. People can <laughs> hit you, Dale. That's fine. Hey, is Chiquinto in the in the uh, sub ladies? Who is that? I wonder who that is. Um, right, I'll go check. Okay. Anyways, all right. So looking at Chiquinto, uh, Cooper Cup was picked at first. Uh, George Su- Kittle. Su- Suk Dave. Oh, what's up, Suk Dave? What is that noise? That was my phone. I was helping you out, trying to find out who that was. Oh, okay. Thanks. Um, all right. So let's look. Uh, he has George Kittle in the end of the fourth. Uh, you know what? The Rashad Bateman pick, I think I like the most. I would have taken Rashad Bateman if I didn't just take three stupid wide receivers in a row. Um, I really like Rashad Bateman in the end of the sixth round. I think I think that's a pretty solid pick. Um, Trey Lance in the beginning of the third. I think he's a 49ers fan. If that's the case, great pick because it, he wouldn't have come back to you in the end of the eighth. So if you want Trey Lance, you're going to have to pick him in the seventh, some at least the sixth or seventh, depending on how your draft is going. You'll need to pick him somewhere. You're going to have to pick him in the top 10 because somebody will, I'm telling you, um, especially if you have a 49ers fan. Somebody's, I don't think it, he has a good chance of finishing the top 12, uh, but he's he'll be drafted in the top 10 by, by a fan. Through um, through not through nine rounds for me out of these the first three teams, I think he's he's definitely number one so far. Yeah, I could see that. The George Kittle pick, I'm a little weary of, but not in the fourth round, I'm not. Yeah, right, right. End of the fourth, especially. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And now you do my team. <laughs> Your team's number one weak, weak at running. Will you back. just be serious for once? 
You know, that's a problem. I, do, I think people I do. have. No, listen, I do. I would have taken. Just can can't you say some good stuff about I, me. You guys always bust my balls. Not, not Just, a lot, but <laughs> your, your receivers are stacked. I like your receivers. I don't know how you said that they're trash considering you went with Jefferson with your first. That would be probably okay. How about this? That would probably be my, my, uh, my knock on your team. I would rather have taken a guy like Henry, Henry or McCaffrey, either one of those guys. I, I, McCaffrey's yeah. still my number one, still my yeah. number one. And I'll, it has to be this year. It has to be this year as long as he stays healthy. <laughs> but I would have, I always want to take a top running back if I can in the first round. Yeah. Cause yeah. I, I'm okay going running back, wide receiver, wide receiver. I just don't want to go wide receiver. Like, for example, this is prime example. What I wouldn't do is how you drafted. I'm not being negative. I'm just telling no, you my yeah. my strategy. You end up with stupid Cam Akers as your RB1. Exactly. And then you go to RB2 and you got Penny, right? After yeah, you've yeah, already, exactly. you, you know what I mean? So, exactly. no, I got you. No, to, to, I, I agree. I mean, as I was drafting, I knew that was a, a yeah. big, and, you know, that's that's kind of why we do these. I, I'm, I'm glad that we're getting through this stuff. You're right. This definitely wasn't a good draft for me. Um, but whatever. All right. <laughs> we'll move on. F. Brandon. Uh, we uh, we start off with Derrick Henry, Alan Kamara. Good start. Uh, Patrick Mahomes in the middle of the fourth. Darren Waller in the fifth round. That makes sense. Darren Waller after George Kittle and Kyle Pitts. What do you think about that? I'm a little obviously, weary of him. Yeah. I mean, obviously with Devontae Adams time. coming in, the yeah. offense changing a little bit. Um, he's, he probably won't be what he was, but su- still super talented and basically a wide receiver. I do I do like uh, Schultz over him this year, and I like Hawkinson pretty close to him. So really, and he got he, he happened to get both of them. So I don't think it's that close. I don't think it's that close. Nope. Nah, I don't think so. I think I think it's fine. Um, would you rather have Joe Patrick Mahomes in the fourth or Joe Burrow in the fifth? Burrow in the fifth. Yeah, I'm so he, I'm down on Mahomes. I'm really. I don't want to say I'm like dropping him drastically down the rankings because I'm not doing that, but I think there's less than if I had to put a percentage on it, it's maybe so to finish top five every, every year we've watched him play has been, been a hundred percent. We've seen what he could do with Tariq Hill. Yeah. Now All with right, the so. rec- receivers where they're at, I'm saying maybe, I'm putting the chance that he finishes top five at like 65% Who? this year. Who? Mahomes. Mahomes. Sure. Okay. Okay, so let me tell you this really quick. He, if he would have swapped this, in the, if he would have gotten Joe Burrow in the fifth instead of Patrick Mahomes in the fourth, he would have – just hear me out. Okay, which team would you rather have? Jalen Waddell, Joe Burrow, TJ Hawkinson, or Patrick Mahomes, Darren Waller, and, and – uh, and TJ Hawkinson. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me do let me say that again. Erase what I just said. Would you rather have Patrick Mahomes, Darren Waller, and TJ Hawkinson, or Jalen Waddle, Joe Burrow, and Hawkinson probably. Yeah. I would rather go the Burrow. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next team, Fat Neck. Fat Neck started off pretty good. Uh, Jamar Chase, Aaron Jones, Eli Mitchell. I have no issues with that. He did get no. Joe Burrow and Dalton Schultz later. No issues. No issues. Um, no. It looks like he got, I mean, he got Buffalo defense a little early. Um, that's okay. Whatever. Um, I'm on St. Brown. I think this is one of my favorite team, at least as the starting lineups go. I think Fat Neck has, uh, is probably one of my I, – I question that Jamar Chase pick <laughs> because he could have Christian McCaffrey said Jamar Chase, and I think he would be a little stronger. Yeah, his his, 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 Brown rec- his just... receivers, by, by taking Chase up there, you can see the way this thing played out. He is a little yeah. bit weaker at – at the running back or the receiver position. So yep. I would rather, like I said, I would have rather have went McCaffrey there or any one of those, those next pretty much Dalvin five Cook. running backs that went after him. 
Yeah. And then kind of, I mean, then you he would have, I, I think overall, I think that would have, uh, his receiver landscape would have been a little bit different. He got Jamar Chase. And then the only wide receivers taken after him to come all the way back. He took Jamar Chase at one six. Devonte Adams, Stefan Diggs, and Debo Samuel were the next twelve in the next twelve picks. He could add Hill. He could add Lamb. He could add. Yeah. That's the thing. Right? I'd rather so. have D, I'd rather have Dalvin Cook and like Tyreek Hill. <laughs> yep. Than Jamar Chase and Aaron Jones. You agree? I agreed. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, next team. Uh, we'll go through these quick because we're kind of running out of time. Boom, got CMC, Nick Chubb, and Josh Allen. If you want Josh Allen, you're going to have to probably get him in the third, right? I mean, mm-hmm. that's just plain and simple. Um, Kyle Pitts got him at 4 6. Mari Cooper, 5 7, has his wide receiver one. Probably waited a little bit long for his wide receiver one. Did he make up for it getting Gabe Davis and Tyler Lockett? Those are both those are both high upside picks there. So I, I I do like it. We're going to see them, you know, get targeted. So yep. it's not it's not terrible, but sure. I think I think reaching for pits. I think, uh, in my opinion, reach for pits where he did. Yep. I think uh, he he left the like I said before he left a lot out there. Yeah. That could have you know had his receiving core a little bit stronger. Yep. All right. Uh, D man, I like D man's. Uh, he has Debo Samuel, Jalen Waddle, Elijah Moore as his wide receivers. Uh, Najee Harris and a uh, Antonio Gibson has his running backs. Took Devin Singletary, yeah, whatever. Um, overall, pretty good. Uh, Lamar Jackson in the end of the fifth round, first quarterback. Clay Dog, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, um, Devin Cook, Javante Williams to start. You must really love Javante Williams. T. Higgins, mm. Jerry Judy, Brandon Ayuk, Chris Olaf. Uh, I like all the upside you have. T. Higgins is great. Wide receiver one on your team. Um, not the greatest, but you made up for it with the wide receivers. Jalen Hurts, the end of the fifth, is pretty good. And, of course, we talked about the Brandon Ayuk pick. Good pick in the end of the seventh round. I think that uh, that's going to end up being a steal in a lot of drafts. Brandon Ayuk that late. Is he going to go that late everywhere? I think so. I think he would, de- depending on what happens in you know, right now. There's a lot of Danny Gray talk, so I kind of yeah, think maybe yeah. Ayuk's not really. But I do. I mean, if you if you could get Ayuk in the seventh round, even the sixth round, I'd be reaching for him there. Okay. All right, and then uh, we're going to Rob. Rob has a decent team. He went on a wide receiver run from round three to six. He's, this is probably my favorite team out of out of everybody. Yeah, Saquon Barkley, I like a lot. Joe Mixon, um, Deontay Johnson, Mike Evans, Juju Smith-Schuster, Darnell Mooney. Good team, good team. Yeah. Uh, Damian Pierce late in the uh, early eighth round. Robert Woods in the ninth round. No, not bad, not bad. I think uh, you got safer. Um, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I think it's the second and third best team. I think Fulton Reed slaps shots. Uh, one of my favorite teams. Um, you got Swift, Connor, Damian Harris, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire. Not great running backs, but I think it's okay. Um, but you do have Michael Pittman, Allen Robinson. I love in the beginning of the sixth round. Michael Thomas, interesting I pick like- in the eighth round. I like the Michael Thomas and both Christian Kirk picks. Yeah, yeah. I, back yeah, to I think, back. Yeah, pretty much back to back. Exa- uh, well, not really back. Well, yeah, eighth and ninth round. Mm-hmm. Uh, James Conner as your RB2. What do you feel about that? I'm you fine with that. You for it with Damian Harris and Clyde edwards Lair, I feel like. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with Conner being my number two. Okay. And then Chris's team at the very end. Start off with Devontae Adams, Stefan Diggs. I got Justin Herbert in the fourth round. Uh, his running backs, David Montgomery, Cordell, Cordell Patterson, Kareem Hunt, Kenneth Walker the third. Um solid team. Brandon Cooks. I'm so conflicted on Brandon Cooks. I never know I never know when to draft him, honestly. Um I know what the rankings say, but every time it comes to pick him, I see ten other people like Allen Robinson, Jerry Judy, Elijah Moore. In my home, can't. in my home keeper league that I'm doing, I actually get to keep him, and I draft him in the 14th round last year. Wow! So I'm going to keep him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it's hard to keep. It's hard to pick him over Allen Robinson and Elijah uh, Moore. So let me ask you a question, Dale. And this, I mean, we're sure. off topic here because I got a keeper league. I'm keeping Barkley, Eckler, and Kittle, mm-hmm. and my my the guys I'm keeping in rounds. I'm taking Cooks at fourteen and Burrow at eight. Say it again. Bur- I'm going to keep Burrow at eight in the eighth round, and Cooks in the fourteenth round. So the one guy that I'm not going to keep on my roster that I do have right now, because I got six guys right now, mm-hmm. I'm dropping Antonio Gibson in place me. of in, in, in place of Kittle. Okay. So. Okay. I don't hate it. Cool. So yeah. So what's up, man? What's up, man? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Canton was a lot of fun. We uh, competed in a lot of stuff. We had a lot of good fun. I'm not as good at Papa Shot as I thought I was. Something really pretty. Hey, buddy. Age gets to you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's not. I was age. good at basketball once. I was good at basketball once. I think I'm still. I'm playing hockey in September. I tell you that. Wait till well, that you're happens. Gonna, you I are going to tear hockey. something. I haven't. Oh, 100. percent I will. Guaranteed. Yeah, you, you're going to get injured. Don't do that. I told them. I'm like. I'm down. I just want to do like, you know, 15 second shifts. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But. Um. So, quick story here. It was it was pretty fun. So, at draft night out, uh, you know, we have we had ten drafts going all at once, 120 people, and about a half hour in, we got on the microphone and said, "Okay, everybody, stop drafting for a second. If you drafted Russell Wilson, raise your right hand as high as you can." So, of course, ten people raise their hand. Right. Mm-hmm. We said, "Okay, keep your hand up." We have a Kenneth Walker autographed jersey. If you want this jersey, the last person with their hand up wins it. Oh, that would have been sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. How long do you think you can keep your hand in the air? The rules are you could not use your other hand. You had to keep it above your head, and you couldn't rest it on your head or anything. Yeah, just like that. How long do you think you can go? Depending on what it was for. I could I could keep it up there for a while. And how long? How long? I would while? say. I'll tell you right now, my guess was I would about five. Five to six minutes. No, I would struggle by 15 minutes. Okay. I would have told you that you would have lost by a lot. Not by a couple somebody, minutes. How long did somebody lot. get their hand up for? Take a guess. I'll tell you how. You get one because I don't want to spoil because we have a video coming out. Take a I'd guess. Say, I'll tell you how. I'd say 40 minutes. Way higher. Isn't no. that crazy? I That's who is this? Who is it? I want to know. Multiple people, multiple people. So it came down. We were running out of time, and so we had to add to it. So like, I brought everybody back up, and I said, "Okay, if you want, because we were raffling other stuff off." I said, "I'll give mm-hmm. you ten raffle tickets if you put your hand down right now." Nobody did, <laughs> and I said, "Okay, yeah." That's um, awesome. We, I told them we would give them a fantasy, uh, fantasy guys Hall of Fame subscription if they put their hand down right now. Nobody did. Um, so then I said, okay, put your left hand up. Now you got to keep that there as well. So people were walking around the draft with two hands in the air. <laughs> it was crazy, dude. It was nuts. That's awesome. Um, I could not believe how long, cause I tested it. I was like, okay, how long? I was like, well, oh, five minutes. Like my arm was starting to get sore. It was bad. That's awesome. But we have, we videoed everything, uh, multiple angles. It was a lot of fun. So cool. that's coming soon. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. That's about it, man. This when are we getting? When are we get? Well, yeah. When are we getting back on here? I don't know. Tomorrow. Tomorrow when? I got a golf round at eight in the morning. <laughs> What's more important to you? Got a golf. <laughs> got a big golf trip coming up. Got a big golf trip coming up. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, it's nice that you take uh, trips with your friends. That's really cool. That's really dude. That's awesome, dude, man. I was jealous. I wasn't there with you in Canton. I got to yeah, admit, I was, I was jealous. mad the whole time. I was saying but, Clayton, Clayton, and Nick should have been there. Well, but the problem being, like you said, you saw what the flights were. It was insane. Yeah, they were insane. You know what I mean? I could, I could have yeah. went to Mexico for a week like a from bucks. what I was paying yeah. for a flight. Yeah, it was insane. It was crazy, yeah. and the flights were just trash too. It was nothing, nowhere near. I right. probably spent a day, a day out of those three days <laughs> flying. No, thank you. Yeah. Next year, but we'll be back. We'll be back in Vegas. Don't worry. 
Yeah, we gotta go back to Vegas. Yeah. When are we doing that? Well, maybe yes. next year. Okay. okay. Let's hold a draft right, party out there. Let's do it. Um, I love how we just talk like we're not on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, where it's I didn't realize it was still going to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, sorry, I don't know if it was like I think it was really low energy today. I didn't mean for it. To it, be was. That way. it was. It was because it started off a little rough, and yeah, there's so much more stuff I could I want to talk about, but we'll do that. We'll do that next as soon as we uh, next episode. Yeah, this is this is just a mock draft. This is for yeah, uh, you know, fancy purposes. Next time. Oh man, I got to talk about. I started a series called Dale's Dogs. Did you re- watch any of Dale's Dogs? You didn't comment. On yes, one I thing. did. Yes, okay. I did. Okay. Yes, I'm and I actually, guys. well, I was going to try to steal that. Like, I was going to steal the whole idea and try. I was going to do the same thing. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll spoil it now. But when I was I'm on my golf trip, I was going to try a hot dog on every golf course. You should and do the same thing and post it on Facebook. You should. You should do that. <laughs> hey, I recommend everybody uh, do hot dog reviews on our Facebook page. I'm going to post that. I want everybody to do it. All right. We'll get going. All right. Yeah, let's get Clean. out of here. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. Later. Later, man.